I'm Sharice Nicole with Coco Fab TV. We're at the Rave Theater in Baldwin Hills, and we are here on a very secret mission. That's right, Coco Fab is taking you inside this exclusive event while Morris Chestnut of The Best Man Holiday is going inside this theater right now to surprise guests and fans of the movie. Okay, so what does Baldwin Hills think of The Best Man Holiday? It's fantastic. It was, what? Great, yeah. it was, it was great. It was a great movie. What was your favorite part about the movie? You know, it was funny, but it also uh, it was a lot more emotional than we thought it would be. It was totally yeah, unexpected, right? Yeah, I was doing this, trying to play it off, you know, <laughs> rubbing, acting like I was laughing, but it was tears coming out of my eyes as well, too. Okay, we have to talk about the cast, because the cast is... Terrence Howard is a clown. <laughs> He's great. So who are you? Are you the Morris Chestnut? Uh, yeah, I play ball. Okay, so. see, I was right. <laughs> I was right. I, I, I saw it. I could tell. I could tell. Are you excited to go in and surprise your fans? Yeah, yeah, it's really exciting. It's really exciting. I mean, you know, we feel it's a good movie, so I'm um, just excited for them to see. Oh, my God. What has been the reaction so far? Uh, you know, I love it when people tell me that they that they cry in the movie, and everyone Aww. says they've been, they've been crying a lot. So, you know, not that I like to see people cry, but I just know that they're, <laughs> I just know that they're affected. Well, you should be used to seeing people cry because when women see you, you get the Michael Jackson treatment. You know, they pass out. You got to call the doctor. So how do you feel about that beautiful wife? I think it's great. I, you know, the mo I love the movie. Right? It's very emotional. I loved it. Oh my God. What do you think about all the female fans that love your husband? I like it. It's flattering. Because <laughs> you know you get to take it home. Yes. <laughs> she knows I'm always coming home. She knows that. Have you done any of those dance moves for her in the bedroom? Uh, well, she's seen all the dance moves. <laughs> She's seen all, everyone, <laughs> vertical, horizontal, she's yes. seen them all. Uh -oh. <laughs> That's how we made them babies. So what are you going to go inside and say to all your fans? I'm just going to thank them for coming out. I mean, you know, I really appreciate people coming out um, anytime they come out and support, you know, any project that I've done. But now this is opening weekend, so I really appreciate them coming out and supporting opening weekend. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Okay, so we're here with Morris, and as you guys just saw, we surprised the fans, and they went crazy. We couldn't have expected anything less. How was that for you? It's 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 great to see to, to hear the. I don't know. And they are going crazy right now, beating down the windows. They want to see Morris. We don't blame them, do we, Morris? We don't blame them. Uh, not at all. No, no, no. No, you know, it's just uh, it's it's a great feeling it's to see everyone, um, the, the, see the whole theater just just full, and and just everyone just anticipating seeing the movie. It's just a great feeling. Yeah. That they got the surprise of their life. They will be talking about this for all of their years. I promise they're gonna tell their grandbabies, child, I went to see Best Man Holiday and Morris walked in and I almost passed out. <laughs> <laughs> I just I just hope that they just enjoy the movie and they tell everyone that they know that they enjoy the movie and come see the movie again. Yes, absolutely. What has been one of your craziest fan encounters? Because I know you had a few. Uh with this with this movie, I'm I don't know, I mean, because it's it's just out right now. So I I'm just really excited. I mean, people I love to hear, like I say, people saying that they that they laugh and they cry and then they laugh again and they cry again. It just lets me know that they're really involved and really invested in the characters and, and in the movie. Yeah. When you got the script, were you were you happy with the way your character, the direction that Malcolm chose for your character to go in, or did you have any tweaks? Um, there were tweaks from the original script, but Malcolm did. You know, he did everything that we wanted him to do, and the character couldn't have been written any better. I'm, 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 I'm very proud of, of, uh, of what he gave me to work with, and um, I'm very proud of the, of the finished product. What was your best part of filming? 
I think the fun the funnest was the um was the was the dance sequence, oh, yeah. Because yeah. we all had a great time, you know, dancing together, getting in, getting being in step, putting on the costumes and, and doing all that dancing. Because I was sad the rest of the movie, so, <laughs> so True. that was that was the one time I was happy. So um yeah, no, it was a great time. Well we were happy watching it and just so you know, I've learned some of the moves and oh, I'm oh. I'm gonna bust some for you. Right you know, now. Um, hold this for you. Go ahead and oh, you want right, me to do it? Yeah, oh, right you I'm putting you on the spot. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh. Wow. Okay. Okay. That's a good job. Good job. I'm just saying, you know, I was good watching job. you and okay. you was doing your thing. You hit it. You hit it. That's great. Great job. Just making sure I'm Morris approved. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Now, there's one thing that I heard you talk about. My platform personally is learning to love yourself. Okay. And one time I heard you say something about, you know, the characters that you got because you were dark skinned. Uh, right. Yeah. Uh, that was long, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> You're like, that was, a, that was a long time ago. I would love for you to expand on that and um, provide inspiration to people that may have, you know, gone through similar things. Right. Well, when I first started out in the industry, it was, um, there were, there were a large, a large part of the tel TV um, parts and, um, and film parts were, were um, game related parts. And, um, I would I would never be seen as the, the the smart one, you know, because I was darker complected. And then even when I was in a gang film, I was a football. I was an athlete, mm -hmm. and luckily Wesley Snipes came and changed the game on him for us. So <laughs> we just keeping it moving. When you were growing up, did you ever experience any insecurities? And if so, how did you learn to overcome that? Yeah, I believe every every uh, most people experience insecurities, and it's just a matter of just um, just at some point just finding belief in yourself and just knowing that there's there's, there's you know that you can do it you can go out there and you can just just find something that you're that you're happy and proud of, in of yourself and just um just keep just keep putting out there like that absolutely well thank you for being an inspiration to so many people everybody loves you uh, thank so you. thank you so much and make sure everybody go out and see best man holiday and we can't wait for best man part three there it is best man's part three okay i'm All just right. saying that's it <laughs>